Hi everyone, so this is my contest entry into JB's cooking contest. Um, awesome contest, JB. Some awesome surpri uh, prizes and sponsors you got. Um, I would have done it without any of them anyway. Uh, so what I'm going to go ahead and make for you guys is a uh, anchote pork butt. Um, anchote is a ancient Mayan seasoning. Uh, as far back as anyone is known as 15th century. I mean, that's what Wikipedia says, but I'm pretty sure it's been around a lot longer than that. Um, here's the stuff right here that I use. It's a uh, Del Maya B. <laughs> <I'm joking. clears throat> Maya B. <laughs> One marinating your meat. So one cup of any juice, citrus juice you like. Equal parts cider or orange juice. Uh, three tablespoons of vinegar. Table salt. Good one. Got air fly. On Venus fly trap. Two and a half tablespoons and choke the seed. If you just have the paste, that's fine. sliced onion. Uh, that should do it. Voila. <laughs> so we got two butts, no picnics. 15 pounds total. So we're going to go ahead and marinate them in these Ziploc bags. <clears throat> these are one gallon bags, one each. Divide the juices up, let it marinate overnight. Um, yeah, overnight. And don't forget to get all the air out of these bags. My technique. Mm hmm. The old school. So today I'm going to go ahead and, uh, what, 7 o'clock, um, I'm going to put these on around uh, 11 o'clock, so I'm going to go back to bed for it. There you have it. That's some really good sauce. It's, it's probably one of my favorite sauces. Alright, so I went in and gave this a quick rinse in the sink. Uh, let's get all those ancho anchote seeds off. Uh, like I said... You can definitely <clears throat> ruin your day or someone else's day if they bite into one of those seeds. It'll shatter your tooth. Alright. So like I said, meat side up, fat side down. I'm going to go ahead and hit this with some mustard now. Mustard, mustard, mustard. Another pinto seed. 
Facebook Day theme. Um, let's go ahead and open this one up now. <coughs> Slap your mama. The hot one. Spicy. It's not really spicy. It says it's the hot one, but I can't tell the difference from the other one to this one, honestly. barbecue rub. Use this whole jar on it. Oh barn. Sides. So the other one. Some slap your mama. I'm just gonna use that much of that one. I'm gonna use the rest of this one on here. There we go. Here's the churn. There we go. Got some on that side. There we go. Come on. You don't. Alright. That's that. Alright. So, I'm going to go ahead and cover this back up into the fridge. It's, like I said, it's 7. Well, no, it's 7.10. Um, start my cook, or I'm actually going to fire up the grill at 9. Um, have it on by 10. Uh, it's going to cook for an hour and a half. An hour to hour and a half per pound. I'm guesstimating 13 hours for this. Alright. On to the smoker next. So, I'll go ahead and show you guys how I uh, load up the fuel into my uh, offset smoker. This is a new bronze fails. Bronze fails. Made in the USA. Alright. First off, bricks. Second, little clay briquettes that hold in heat. So go ahead and put these all over the place. All right, here you go. Stop. Decided to stop dicking around and got a larger grate so that it could fit more. Uh, so the wood's in there. There's uh, 30 coals, unlit coals on both sides, eating nicely stacked. Um, so when I'm ready to, you know, start smoking, I'll take a uh, half lit. I'll light up a, you know, a half chimney of um, lit coals, red hot, and I'll just place them right on top of the unlit coals. Like I said, not on the wood. Um, as it's starting to you know, heat up and fire up, I'll show you why um, the wood will slowly catch on fire. It will slowly start to you know, get engulfed in, engulfed in flames, and it takes a while. All right. So that's that. So right here, as you can see, it's not a full uh, chimney. It's a half chimney. I'm just going to go ahead and lay these hot coals right on top of the unlit coals. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and leave this wide open. Uh, just give it some air. You know, the rest of the coals and stuff kind of lit and get the heat evenly distributed. Um, probably go ahead and just close this puppy down. Just the top. 
but I'm going to leave the butt. I'm gonna leave this wide open. Okay. So what it's going to happen is I have this positioned a certain way. You know, the wind comes from this way. It blows this way from the ocean. And it's right into, right into there. And so what you should see is some draft, some smoke coming this way, which you do. If you can see it, smoke is coming from, there's drafting the heat and coming this way. Okay. If I had this the opposite way, I wouldn't get as much of a draft of the wind carrying the heat and the smoke into the actual cooking chamber. Um, one thing I didn't mention is while I was setting this up, I took out the meat out of the fridge. You want that to come up to room temperature. Uh, give it at least an hour. If you have more time, I mean, if you want to do an hour and a half, two hours, doesn't bother. Uh, I just wouldn't do it cold. It'll take a lot longer for the meat to cook, you know, from the inside. The inside or something. All right. Next step, get the meat on the cue. All right. Time to get the meat on the barbecue. Let's take a look at how this looks. Looks perfect. The unlit coals are starting to turn a little bit white. Uh, the wood, the hardwood, is starting to, you know, ignite there. It's pretty good. So it's time to, you know, choke this back a little bit. Dampener right there. I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, Adjust that to a quarter way open. That should do her. And uh, get all that smoke. Yeah, buddy. Alright, let's get this on. Alright, so I'll probably interchange these as it cooks. It's a little bit warmer on this side over here. Come on, boy. You gotta look at this. It's a little warmer on this side, so that's why I have this one right here. It's gonna tell me the temperature of you know, pretty much the heat that's coming out. Uh, this one right here is going to tell me the temperature of the grape at the grate level. This one's going to give me the temperature of below the grate because it's going all the way down to the bottom. This one can go as high as 266 max. So if I get up to 300 degrees, it's going to beep, beep, beep. It's going to let me know. Top one is reading uh, 275. Slower one right here is reading 250, which is perfect. This one by the fire pit is reading 300, expected. Uh, the meat, looking pretty damn good if you ask me. The fat's already starting to melt a little bit. We got plenty of smoke coming out of the top. As you can tell, it's not super smoky. This is a good smoke right now. This is not too overpowering. It's excellent. Uh, fire is hot. Looking pretty good. Oh my damn eye. Mm -mm. that a bitch. Alright everyone, so this is three hours into the cook. <clears throat> As you can see, the smoke is blue. It's uh, what I call this is just good heat. Still plenty of smoke, but this is perfectly perfect. perfect. Uh, temperature has been holding at 275, between 250 and 275. Alright everyone. Just woke up from taking a nap. Uh, I'm gonna set up top saying 250. Uh, let's see, we got 225 now, we got 250 on now. Uh, that's 225? Yeah, 225, 250 at the grate. The meat looks fantastic. Oh, yeah, buddy. It shrunk down quite a bit. Now I went ahead and added this uh, tray of water. Um, I had to add more fuel. Just a little raging right now because I got it open, so now it's getting a ton of oxygen. Um, yeah, I got too hot. Once your grill's gone too high, or once it's gone too high, it's hard to get it to come back down. My trick is to put in a pan of cold water, and um, once it settles back down to, to uh, 225, 240. About 225-ish, where it is about now on one of the on one of the thermometers. You want to go ahead and just pull that tray right back out. And it's just you know the 
give it enough cooling so that you can work your way back to where you want it to be. That's good. Got 190 on the back here. This is done. Oh yeah, buddy. That's a sampler. Mm, mm, mm. You can taste that slap your mama on this one. That's good. I have some guests coming over, so I'm going to go ahead and just coming over, so I'm going to go ahead and just toss it in the oven. I'm gonna keep warm.